All right, so now we've got a 202 DDG02B. So it's got two air sensors, black bezel. And you would use this on a dual height control valve drive um, or a tractor trailer with a total of two height control valves. So one on the drive, one on the trailer. And in that configuration, you can get the steer, drive, and trailer all in the one gauge. Um, so I'll walk you through how to set it up for a dual height control valve drive first, and then we'll go through how to set it up for a steer, drive, and trailer. So from the home screen, hit the wrench icon, and then hit settings, and arrow over until you see config inputs. And so what this does is this is sensor one and sensor two, and then there's a line in between. So when the line is slashed, it's saying that those two sensors aren't connected. So right now, sensor one is independent. It's separate from sensor two. If we wanted to average those two together, like if you had a dual height control valve drive, you just press this button in the middle and it makes the line go across and that averages one and two. So, um, you know, if there's 60 PSI in one and 55 PSI in the other, it's gonna be 57 and a half. So, okay, so we'll say this is dual height control valve drive. We'll go back. And then the next thing we need to do is name the axles. So if we go to config names, um, we say one and two is drive, which is what we want, but I'll show you the other options. Um, you can name it steer, drive, trailer A, trailer B. You can arrow over. There's a few other names in there. Drive one and drive two. Um, and then we're back. So we'll just call this one drive. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on estimated steer also. So we'll hit right arrow, estimated steer. We'll turn that on and go back and go back to the home screen and I'll show you what that looks like on the weight screen. So we've got our estimated steer and our drive and our total. And right now um, it's got a high pressure in the regulator that's back there. So, um, so we'll go ahead and do our high calibration first. So we'll go back to the home screen, um, wrench, calibration, and let's do our steer. So right now we're at a high pressure, so we're loaded on the steer. So do loaded. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, but you just have to remember that to enter the empty weights while you're empty and the loaded weights while you're loaded. If you try to do them at the same time, it won't let you. So, okay, so we want to enter new calibration data. And we'll put in 11800, which is our loaded steer. Enter. Yes. Okay, and then we'll do our loaded drive. And we're at 34,960. And we'll go ahead and uh, drop the air pressure to simulate an empty truck and do the empty calibration. All right, so to do the empty calibration, go to settings, calibration, and we'll do our, our empty steer first. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, so we'll do our steer, empty, and we're at 11. 1,700. And yes to save. Okay, now we'll do our drive. Empty. And we're at 11,960. Yes. All right, now we'll go back to the home screen and hit wait. Okay, so now down here it used to say cal needed and that has gone away, so we're done with our calibration. We've got our steer, our drive, and the total for our truck. <laughs>